This is a Tesla Model S and I'm going to show you all the tech, everything you need to know on how it works and what it does in this video. Let's have a look at music. You can listen to music through Bluetooth from your phone if you want to. You can use tuning radio, so that's radio stations over the internet and podcasts as well. And you can use Spotify. So on Spotify, you can link it to your Spotify account if you have one, but you don't need to because Tesla gives you access for free. You can see your options for music. You can look at new releases. Or I can go to genres and moods and I can see Top Hits UK and it will load up some Hits UK and I can just start playing them. What happens if I'm looking for a particular artist? So here we go, my favorite artists, Need to Breathe. I can tap on them, I can go into their albums, I can click on the albums and I can just play the music from Spotify. So a lot of control there. If we go into settings, I can allow mobile control, I can adjust the position of the audio in the car and I can adjust the mid, the bass and the treble. Right now let's go into one of the funnest parts of the Tesla system. So the toy box and entertainment. The toy box lets you do lots of fun things. So this is where Tesla adds a little um, fun things that they think you'll find amusing. So here we have the ability to have the car pass wind for you. Uh, you can turn it on so when you press the button on the steering wheel, it does that. You can turn the fart on turn signal on and off. You can also um, go into romance mode, which will put a fire on the screen here, turn on the seat heating and also play some uh, romantic music. My favorite here, the sketch pad, so you can draw in your car tick in the car subscribe yes please do subscribe that's a lot of fun i can also have it so the display behind me here so instead of seeing a map of where i'm going i can make it so we're on mars so no longer are we in waitrose car park we are now on the planet mars and as i drive around i will be in a mars buggy driving around ensuring that uh, i am going where no one has gone before on my Tesla. Hopefully I won't run out of charge. I don't think there's any superchargers on Mars. Elon, are there any superchargers on Mars? I'm not sure. Let's go back to normal. So on the screen in front of me, the digital dashboard, I can see in my car overview, I can have it in Santa mode. So it's got a festive spirit and the car looks like it's snowing and it's on a white road. And I can also set it up so it says ho 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 on it as I'm driving. Or I can go to Rainbow Road, where I can change the road into a giant rainbow as well. So these are little fun things which are on here, which are cool to play with. If we go into entertainment, there's a load of games on here that I can play backgammon, chess, asteroid, centipede, super breakout, missile command. So if I'm sitting in the car and I'm a bit bored, I can play games. On newer models, we can also watch Netflix on here, so I can watch movies, documentaries and TV shows, which is awesome. I can load up the internet. I can see my charging state. So I can see currently the car's at 71%. I can open the charging port. I can set a limit. I can set the charge current. I can set a scheduled departure and I can see how much the supercharger that I used last time cost me. I can see my energy consumption. So Tesla gives you a lot of information about what's going on when you're driving. And you can see average amount of power that you've used and you can see the projected range. Here. So I can see I have 184 miles projected range. I can see the average range as well projected. And I can adjust my efficiency and my range based on the amount of miles I wanna see over. 
so I have a lot of control here. You can see here the route to the Eiffel Tower using the supercharger. It's telling me that I need to navigate to Folkestone where I will have 41% battery left. And you can see that down here on the screen. You can see the trip usage for the energy. It's got 71% now. When I get to Maidstone, it will be 41%. And the dips and the peaks in this line represent the gradients of the road. So if you were going through the mountains, they'd be higher and lower. And as you go down a hill, it would regenerate some of that power. And as you go up, it would use more. So you can see that information, which is very interesting. Very, very detailed. I would then need to stop once I've got to France in Senlis for 15 minutes and then I would get to Eiffel Tower at 7.02 p.m. with 26% battery left, a total trip of 281 miles which would take 6 hours and 15 minutes. So it's telling me exactly how long I need to charge for, where I need to stop to get to where I need to without having to worry about running out of power. And of course I can stop in different places, I can charge for less time. If I do that it will recalculate to add extra superchargers or longer at the next supercharger. So I don't need to follow this exactly as it is. It's smart enough to adjust to allow me to get to the place I want to get to without having to stick to it exactly. So there is some flexibility in that. And that is a beauty of the Tesla supercharger system which is all over the world and allows you to pretty much go anywhere you want without having to worry about running out of charge and knowing that you will have a fast, reliable, secure charging point for your Tesla. If I tap on Senlis France, you can see 15 of 16 stores available. It's 150 kilowatts maximum charging. You can see how much it costs and you can see the distance as well. And I can favorite this if I want to, if I want to go back there again easily. But this live availability of the supercharger showing how many are available, if there are any problems is something which Tesla has, which is gives you a lot of this live availability of superchargers is a really great feature that Tesla has, which is very unique, which gives you that peace of mind to know that you're going to get there and there's going to be somewhere to park and somewhere to charge without any issues. Then you've got the camera. So this car has cameras all the way around it. However, it does not have those functions enabled on the infotainment system. But on newer Teslas, you'll have a 360 camera. On here, I can only see the rear camera, but you can see how clear it is, how wide angle it is there's no doubt that you'll be able to see everything around you and park very safely especially with the sensors as well on the back there you can link your calendar to the tesla app and see everything that's going on on there as well let's go into our climate controls very self-explanatory i can adjust where the air is coming out of by tapping the buttons here i can turn it on auto if i want to i can adjust the fan speed i can turn it on and off i can turn the ac off i can do auto recirculation if i want to However, one feature which sets Tesla apart from other cars is the ability to keep the climate. If I have a dog in dog mode, it will make sure that the temperature stays exactly the same when I walk away from the car. And when I leave the car, it will puff up and it will show a dog on the screen. So everybody knows that your dog is safe and it's keeping the car temperature regulated. We also have biodefense mode and in biodefense mode it uses a HEPA filters to filter out anything bad which is in the air. So that's great if you're in a tunnel or maybe on a motorway in heavy traffic and it will remove all the bad stuff that's in the air which is great. And then we've got our seat heating and our volume controls. So that's an overview of the infotainment system. Let's now have a look at some of the other settings and then you got your software. So you can see this is a Tesla Model S 75D currently on 34,456 miles and it's running software version 10.2 from 2020 and the update preference is advanced so it will regularly receive over the air updates and new software updates as soon as they're available and I can now quit access to the owner's manual and I can see the release notes for this latest update. Improvements to tune in, new language support, so I can see what Tesla have added in the latest updates. I can adjust easy entry, so based on my various profile, I can set it up so when I come and go, it will make sure I know who I am and set everything up how I want it to. If I have home link, I can set up as well, so I can open my garage. I can get quick access to my battery settings and I can lock or unlock the vehicle. I can have quick access to my LTE, to my cellular or Wi-Fi settings where I can connect to those. 
and quick access to brightness settings as well. So let's use a navigation. So first of all, I can turn the map on and off with satellite view and you can see how quickly it zooms in and these are all the superchargers where we are which are accessible here and it will list them all and it will list what the usage is so if i tap on folkestone here so this is the folkestone supercharger it says seven of eight stores are available one stall is out of order it's 130 kilowatts maximum it's got the charging fees and it shows you how to navigate and it shows you live updates on the availability which is very cool if i click on maidstone here four of six available 130 watts again the same idea and i can navigate to it now let's say i actually wanted to navigate somewhere navigate to the eiffel tower you can see how quick the voice assistance was if i tap on navigate now it will navigate the route to the Eiffel Tower and it will find the superchargers and it will calculate it so there's still electricity left when I arrive and it will stop along the way as well. Now let's have a look at reversing. On the Tesla Model S and all Teslas, they have all these sensors and these cameras, which means that when you're reversing or moving around, there's more detail about where you are in relation to what's around you than with any other car. You can see it even shows how many inches away you are from the car when you're reversing. It shows different colors and you can see it on both the center display and the dashboard. So it's a really cool experience. So this is a main infotainment driver display. I can scroll through the audio by pressing the button on the side here. On the other side, I can scroll through and it shows me the fan speed. So I can adjust my fan speed. I can change it to auto. Let's change it back to one. I can go through the various settings on here by scrolling through. Contacts, recent calls, display brightness, temperature in the car. I can see my average energy usage. If I turn the car on, If I turn the car on, I have some more options. So you can see the navigation here. On here, you can see the speed. You can see we're in chill mode. You can see the car with the lights on. You can see the battery usage and the temperature. You can see the time and you can see the gear that we are in. And again, we got all the settings here on this side. So it's a very nice display. Now when I'm driving in the middle here, you will see the road and that allows you to change it from the rainbow mode or the Santa mode as you saw on the fun box section of the Tesla infotainment system. But that is what that looks like. I wanted to be able to show you some footage of the car driving and using its autopilot features. So here we go, we're driving down the road. You can see the car has seen the side of the road. The two lines have gone blue and it can see what's around it. You can see when there are objects in the side of the road and it will highlight them with a yellow marking on the side here. And when it gets too close, in a minute, it's gonna get close to another car and it's gonna see the car. The car's gonna appear on the screen in front of the driver. Here we go, you can see it coming up. And in this case, the car will slow down because it isn't sure where to go. But you can see on here how much detail Tesla shows with the autopilot. Hopefully I can show you some more of this with the upcoming Model 3 video I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed this video from Tech in the Car. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you've got any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and thank you very much.